Hey crew, time for a bit of an update. It's been a while since we've been uh, working on the scooter. Um, I'd say a bit of a mix of lack of motivation, but also I'm um, getting stuck into some other projects around the, the house as well. So I've laid some new turf on the other side of our house, which took us out of action in working on the scooter for a week or two. Um, anyway, time to get back into it. Um, just touch on it quickly. I've got the a couple of the plastics just sitting on the bike at the moment i'm hoping that that'll help motivate me to get stuck into it a little bit more because i can see the the progress happening on it they're not uh, screwed on bolted on or anything right now just sitting there um one of the other things i got done in the meantime was the this petrol tank here um had a fair bit of rust just surface rust sitting on top of it and pretty dirty and that's out of the the vsu that we got there and had to change the fuel pump on this to get it going anyway so while it was out uh, just took all the the top of this back to bare metal if i've got a um, photo i'll stick that up there in the the corner um so basically took it all back got all the rust off of it then put a rust converter primer on it just out of an aerosol and then a, a satin black on top and looks much better now and hopefully will stop the the rust going any further so you can see a little bit of the the rust when you're getting close here oops excuse the middle finger uh, uh, um, you can just see it sitting in there but hopefully that that stops i spent a fair bit of time with the the wire wheel just to try and clear all of the rust out um got the other scooter panels just sitting over here so what are we up to today uh, today we're hoping to get some paint down on the plastics that kind of sit from the the front handlebars down over the, the petrol filler neck and uh, over the petrol tank where your feet sit. So all of these plastics on these are typically just a, an unpainted grey plastic. Mine were uh, pretty faded on this bike so I've decided that I'll paint them. Um, I did try a method that I'd seen online and uh, never trust methods you see online where you heat up the plastics and it, it brings the oil out of it. Um, just while I'm walking past that, I decided to do something different today and actually untangle my air hose. So hopefully we don't trip over that when we're spraying. Um, yeah, so, forgot what I was saying. Anyway, back onto it. Um, so yeah, these are the, the plastics. So there's three bits here. Um, what I did, uh, which I shouldn't have done, that's right, that's what I was saying, um, is to get the plastics back, we heated them up with a heat gun. And what you can see as a result of that is it looked good for a few weeks. But then you get this motley effect um, where it's dried out the, the plastics. So really don't... Oops, there's the compressor, so we'll hopefully talk over that. Typical timing. Um, but yeah, so essentially, I'm hoping that we can actually just get um, a paint on that to make it look neat. Because if I bolted it up as it is at the moment, it would look pretty atrocious and take away from the, the new paint job. So the um, other thing I've done in the last couple of weeks is just added in an LED light in here in the carport. So I've got half a chance of actually seeing what I'm doing and also hopefully capturing what I record. Um, apologies for the compressor. Um, so yeah, so it's these three plastics here and all of them I did the same heated up with that heat gun. You can see all the patchiness. So if you see those methods online, unless you're planning to get rid of the, the car, bike, whatever you're working on really quickly, then I wouldn't recommend them um, because it just made it look probably 10 times worse than it did to begin with. So as for the approach this morning, um, or this afternoon, I should say, what I've done is I've just finished, yeah, we sanded these all back with a, a gray scotch bright, which is probably the equivalent of a six to 800 um, sandpaper and went over everything, tried to get into all the little grooves and that just to make sure that one, they were, they were clean, but also ready to, to get a bit of paint down to stick to them. Um, once finished sanding them down with that Scotch-Brite, which I'll show you in a second, then uh, the next thing we did, we went over them with a wax and grease remover. Yeah, I think I went over them three times to hopefully get rid of anything in there that will stop the paint from sticking. But as we say that, I can see a couple of little specks of stuff that's already landed on it. and. That's just part of the problem of painting outside. You can never avoid it all. So what have we got over here? I've just got it all set up. So if you've never seen it, that's the, uh, the grey scotch bright that we use. So similar to what you clean up kitchen dishes with, um, but a little bit grittier. Um, then we've got uh, this one here, which is a, 
essentially a adhesion promoter, um, plastic primer, whatever you want to call it, but Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. I've never actually used it, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. So pick that up from a, a body shop supplies here in Adelaide and we'll give that a go. Um, all the, the reviews rave about how good this one is. So we just got a couple of hundred mils um, and we'll try that out. And that should work nicely. Once we've got that down, um, we'll let it dry for five or 10 minutes, probably it's a little bit cooler today, so maybe a little bit longer. And then I've got a straight white a tint to there, just a gloss white, which will go down, um, mix with hardener two to one. And um, just using the, the gun that I've got here, which I use for pretty much everything, just an eye water with a 1.3 mil tip. The tip's probably a little bit big um, for this job and the gun's too big as well, but um, make do with what we've got. So anyway, I'll, um, I'll get the, the plastic primer down now. And then uh, once we've got that down, give it some time to dry and then we'll start looking at doing the paint. All right, we'll see if we can grab this uh, quick update in between. So I've just laid down two coats of that um, Bulldog Adhesion Promoter and probably went a little bit too wet on the second coat, uh, but it should be all right. Um, you can see just there, it's got a, a few little runs. Um, but these bits and pieces are a little bit marked up anyway, and we're not gonna get overly fussy about them. Um, again, you can see a bit thick on that second coat, so hopefully that doesn't show through when I put the base coat down. Um, but I'll give these good 10 minutes now, at least before I put the base coat down. And we'll do a few quick coats, probably a little bit cold today to be spraying. Um, so we'll, we'll make do with what we've got and do some lighter coats of the, the base coat. Anyway, I'll come back once we've got uh, some of the base coat down. Cheers. All right, with two coats in of the gloss white, which is just a standard um, plain white tinter. Um, you guys ever heard that saying about the, the peas? Preparation prevents piss poor performance. Um, lesson for that today is probably didn't uh, scotch bright down on the, the edge there quite enough. Um, and hence why it's peeling back. And same, just in the little the corner there, you can see a little bit of a gap. Um, so what I'm hoping we'll be able to do is a couple of little dry coats on there uh, to get the paint to stick and then be able to put a wetter coat on. And we had, um, this probably shows it up better on these ones. I've got these drying out in the sun because you can see on that corner, it's uh, not wanting to stick at all and, uh, and same down there. And what that is, is a reaction to some silicon products under there and i thought i cleaned it three times with grease and wax remover but still not enough to come up so again same deal what i'm hoping will work today is i'll get these to dry off a little bit in the sun um then put a couple of light coats over that and then be able to spray a, a wetter coat once those light coats fill in the little gaps um and same, got a couple of little spots on this one as well. It's the problem with painting these plastic stuff is a lot of the time um, people have made them look nicer by putting silicon products on them um, to actually bring out the blackness and color of them. Um, but silicon reacts really badly with, with paint. So um, we'll see how we go, see if we can get them looking half decent. If not, what I can end up doing is once they dry fully, then you can give these a light sand back and then start spraying another coat on, and usually you can get it co to come up all right. So uh, anyway, um, leave me with it and come back and see how we've gone. All right, well, that's the end of the painting for the day. So going to check out where we ended up. Ended up putting on about, I think, four to five coats of the white, trying to get rid of those little bits of um, silicon dots that I had in it. And well, we just finished packing up all the spray gun, cleaning that up, etc., um, and wheeling the scooter back into the carport. And I just quickly um, chucked on a couple of the other these side panels just to get an idea of what it's going to start looking like on there. Um, but I'll show you the the panels. I've just got them sitting out in the sun. The ones we painted today in white. No white's probably not everyone's choice uh, cup of tea, but. Personally, I thought it would offset the, the blue nicely um, and make it stand out a fair bit. So uh, this start with the biggest one. This is the one that sits in front of your legs on the scooter. Um, has um, the petrol cap, which petrol filler, which sits there. 
um, compliance plate sits under there. So to point out a few of the little bits that haven't quite gone perfect, you know, got a few little silicon spots just along that edge. Um, they should get hidden as we push the plastic down anyway. Got a decent size run just sitting in that little spot there. A couple of little hairs uh, that get caught up in it. Uh, nothing to, to worry about too much. This sits in uh, this little bit here, has the key ignition going through there from memory um, and the, the steering headset through there. Um, so it sits on top of that panel there. Um, I'd pick it up, but it's still a bit wet at the moment to, to move around. Um, this was the one that gave me the most grief um, with all those silicon dots. So what I ended up doing was tried to dry it with a heat gun um, in between coats and that sort of worked but um, sort of got the paint peeling a little bit as well um, but then after that sanded with some 600 grit wet um, and with the 600 grit wet then I put down a few dry coats so you, I don't know whether the camera will pick it up there or not um, but you can see it's it's got some orange peel from those silicon dots but the main thing that I was after was just to get it all white and I really didn't want to have to come out and set up my spray gun again another day um, so it's white it's glossy um, should offset that glue nicely so now we'll let those sit and dry for the next week or so and once they've dried off then we can start the main bit of reassembly on the bike and start putting it all back together um, it should be good uh, on that note um if you if you get a chance i'd love to see you just uh, add another like on the the video get some more subscribers up there as well if you're enjoying the, the content um we've got plenty more projects to come after this scooter we've got another scooter to go which is another sim but a sim red devil uh, next time or otherwise known as a sim shark i think as well so a bit bigger bike than that one um it's a still a 50 cc but it's got the the 12 inch rims on it instead of the 10 inch rims and then of course we've got the the ute and i've got plenty of rims there that are waiting for a respray as well so anyway thanks for tuning in guys um, hopefully we'll see you soon cheers